Welcome to This Is Getting Old. I'm your host, Melissa Batchelor, and today we're going to shift gears a little bit because we're coming into a new year and we're going to be talking about getting organized and how to manage your to-do list. And there are a lot of different ways to do this. Um, I've often get asked, you know, how I get so much done. So I'm just going to share some basic tips and tricks with you and hopefully they'll be helpful. And if you have other ways that you stay organized and stay on top of your to-do list, please drop them in the chat box or uh, send me a message, email me or send a message to my website, melissabphd.com. So the first thing that I do is I try to have a one-year, a three-year, and a five-year plan. And this really kind of started for me when I was a Hart, uh, doctoral student, so Hartford pre-doc and post-doc, and even with my Robert Wood Johnson Nurse Faculty Scholars Program, we always had to create a professional development plan. So I've always found that to be very helpful. It helps you to get your thoughts organized um, by academic year. It, in my world as an academic, I, primarily as an academic, I think of time and, and, and semester. So fall, spring, summer, um, if you're in the business world, maybe you um, think of it in, in quarters. Um, so having not only the goals that I want to achieve during that time frame, but also what are the activities that I need to do or what are the things I need to be doing you know, a year in advance so that I'm ready um, when it's time to meet that goal. Um, the second thing that I do is I keep a master to-do list and the master to-do list, I organize that by project and each pro under each project, I have the different steps or the different tasks that I need to complete with the due date. Now I've done, I've gone between paper-based organizers and tried to do things online. However, you um, want to get yourself set up is fine. For me, paper tends to work better. And I think it's because of that process of writing things down, it keeps it fresh in my mind. If I put it into an electronic calendar, it's I don't have a visual cue because I don't see it on a sheet of paper. I didn't write it down um, each week. So I tend to forget it. So I use my calendar like my to keep up with my weekly meetings or um, things like that. But so far as like the work that I have to get done, um, that goes onto a paper-based calendar or onto a paper-based product. So one that I found um, that I like is this, and it's basically just a kind of flat pad. And I love it because I can put all my stuff on there. And you can see that I like to color code. It's Christmas as I'm recording this. So I have used my red and green colors, and then I can draw my lines with my handy dandy ruler. But this is, is one way that I have found to keep up with my things that I need to do um, at the broad scale. The second thing that I'll do is on um, once a week, usually the beginning of the week, I will do kind of a weekly recap of things I need to get done that week. And so on my weekly recap, I like to use these. It's also a little flat thing and you can't read it here, but I'm gonna, I've recorded this a little bit more closely, but those are each day of the week and the things that I need um, to get done for that week. That also helps me know like, how do I organize all the stuff I have to do for work and all the stuff I have to do for my home. And so the home to-do list is like, I decided to keep it separate because I also like to keep things neat and I don't like to cross things out. Um, but looking at my week, I'll figure out, okay, what are the errands that I need to run and which day of the week is gonna be the best day to do that so that I can cluster all of that. Because when I'm working, I need to be at my desk because if I get up from my desk, I'm not likely to come back. Um, <laughs> So I try to cluster or delegate uh, my errands. Um, it's nice to have um, one driver home. Uh, when my daughter's home from college, I can ask her to run some of my errands for me. After the weekly to-do list, the next thing is keeping up with my what I need to do today. So each morning uh, when I sit down to my desk or you can do it the night before, I will um, write down on a sticky note everything that I need to get done. So here, obviously a big fan of the sticky note. And here's my to-do list on my desk of what I need to get done today. So putting down the top three priorities for the day is helpful. It 
and prioritizing those and just start with the thing, the most important thing to get done for the day, just start with that. And then the very last um, tip that I have for you is to keep it fun. And so the way I keep it fun are with my pins. And I'm gonna tell you, I think I have a little bit of a pen problem too. My doctoral students and I did this the other day. Yes, it's really, really bad. But I love my pens. Apparently, I've always loved school supplies. So, <laughs> so I love my paper, I love my pens, but I use them all. And then combine that with my electronic um, stuff as well. I've used Asana, the group that um, helps me with the podcast, they use Asana, my virtual assistant uses it. And I'm still trying to learn the software, but for me, because I'm the only one that has to get my stuff done, the system works for me. So if you have any tips or tricks that you'd like to share about how you manage your to-do list or how you get things done, again, just drop them in the, the comment box here or give me shoot me an email. Um, and if, maybe we'll do more of these about how to get organized and how to manage our time. Happy New Year. Thank you for joining me today for This Is Getting Old. If you'd like to know more, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or a related topic you'd like to hear from me about, just let me know. Thanks.